Hi, my name's Ginger Cook, and I have an online art academy called the Ginger Cook Acrylic Online Academy of Fine Art Painting, all right? And what we teach in our academy is from very basic, beginner, if you've never seen a, an acrylic paint tube in your life, clear up to advanced painting. And how we're able to do that and bring artists along is what we do is we give you the basics. We start you off with the basics so that you understand the ins and outs of making your acrylic paint work. Now, if you'll look at these paintings I have in front of me, some of the things that we, first we're going to show you the materials you need and so forth, but the very next thing we're going to show you is how to make brush strokes, how to do brush exercises and make your brush work. In other words, if you were to do something like this with the different brushes we have, just doodling, could, these are the learning how to do this enables you to do this. All right, these fine brush strokes. I'm going to move this one out of the way. Look at the hairs on this dog. I mean, well, those are all found the foundation for all of this type of painting. And, and it's in this video is not the actual painting of how to do the dog, but how to do the brush strokes so that you can later come along and find the video of the dog and, and, and do it. Now, for instance, even in this one, you'll see the fine lines. How do we get that? This, this back to basics is what you want to be able to paint like this, or for instance, um, do trees like this. I mean, how do you make them look round? How, you know, where's the shading? How do you do light? The, you've got to get the basics on all of this, and this is what we teach. For instance, look at the brush strokes that are in the hair of this child, you know, taking pictures called the photographer. This is one of the lessons on our website. You, um, want to get the basic knowledge of acrylic paint. So that's the first thing we, you know, teach you after learning how to, you, you know, what materials you need. That's the first thing we teach you. And now we're going to go on and show you some of the other stuff. All right. So the other thing that's going to be in our video that I'm back to basics that's absolutely must know how to do is blending so that you know, to make this apple look round, we show you how to take a circle and give it three dimension. Also, you'll notice these lemons, they're shaded in order to look round. How do you get fruit to look three dimensional or anything really? Even this umbrella painting, you'll notice this, the, the blending. This is a key skill in learning how to paint. So we start you off with the cylinder. These are very fast exercises. Each video is around 15 minutes. And We'll show you how to take any color. It doesn't really matter what the colors are, but how to, you know, draw on a cylinder, how to get an oval, and how to blend. What if you had a cone, all right? How to do that. Um, even just straight, what we call gradation blending, is something that we like to show you how to do, because this can be useful, because if you have a large painting like this, for instance, this sky is blended very much like this. So we show you the secrets of going from dark to light in what we call a gradation, all right? Um, here's another example of a sky that was done that way, a video that we have of a sky that was done that way. We show you the tricks on how to do that. Get the basic, back to basic skills. Here's another example of two blended skies and a water, you know, the sky and the water, where this was all done using the techniques we show you how to perfect the do's and don'ts and how to perfect in this particular video. One of my favorites is this one. This is an actual Monet. And a lot in our academy, we often visit some of what we call the old dead guys, the old dead, you know, the artists that have come before us and there's and often do and learn a little bit about them and their paintings. This was originally a Monet and it's a blended sky using two colors, a little bit of the blue and a little bit of pink. Do you see that? And then when I look at this, one of the things that we've noticed that artists, new artists have trouble with is, uh, you know, maybe even making buildings. So we have a very simple video. Move some of this out of the way here. Very simple video on just a birdhouse. Now there's nothing, and, but there's a light source talking about a light source that there's, this has three different values. And we talk about whether contrast and lights and darks, because at some point, we would like you to be able to paint something like this. And in order to be able to shade and do buildings and understand how to draw them in, have to, learning the basics, the basics of the, any old building is built from that, you know, from the idea of this rectangle and, you know, and how to do the, a box. And so this is one of, I think, one of our key videos in the series is 
uh, and you again, you can take just a few minutes, and these are like piano exercises in the sense that you just paint something small like this little six by eight canvas and get the back to basics down. And, and then we're going to go on to our next segment, which is, let me move some of this out of the way, is uh, not just uh, blending, okay, which is important, right? But now we want to use those blending skills and learn to do clouds. And I'll show you, let me show you what those paintings would look like. Clouds are a huge part of any painting, whether it's a landscape, a seascape, you see uh, clouds are one of the things that artists have the most trouble with. Actually, some of the simplest things to do. Once you understand basic blending, we have a, you know, a video on how to do clouds. And so that later when you're coming along and maybe you join our academy and you're learning to do a painting like this, you notice that these clouds are in it or look at these clouds and we added color. But these, knowing how to do a back to basic, just how do you do a cloud like this? And now you've learned some, you know, learning your blending techniques, you can start to add color. But again, simple exercises in clouds. Here's one of my favorites, simple clouds in the background, either wet on wet or dry. Uh, we show you which brushes are best to use for clouds. Uh, here's one of a good example of, uh, you know, just a back to basics tutorial on, um, on clouds that we have on our website. But in order to get to understand that, learn what your brushes do. That's what this this series of videos is all about. It's not one big long two or three hour video. You can break it up into segments and chapters. Just take a moment, paint some clouds. Now, not every painting has uh, these type of clouds. These are wonderful and fun and very dramatic to paint. But sometimes you just need, depending on the landscape, you need some simple clouds. Now, in this uh, video we have on in our uh, Back to Basic series, I show you how to just Take a sky and just suggest some clouds so that the landscape down below, in this case it's some mountains in Alaska with a little bit of uh, glacier water, you know, the sky doesn't compete with the, with the entire landscape. Here's another example of a snow scene where we've got just some sweeping clouds. Now, we show you in, show you in this video by doing this, you understand intrinsically how to do these others when you come across videos like this. They won't seem so daunting. And then finally, uh, one of the, the things we want to show you how to do as uh, before, uh, a couple more things, is blending, multiple blending. We showed you a little bit about um, just blending a cone or a cylinder, but now I'm going to show you about multiple layer blending. And that's going to really, really set the tone for our next, uh, this other series, okay? And this would be... This is an example of multiple layer background blending, and you, it has so many examples. Let me show you what those would be. Now, in most uh, uh, still life paintings and many uh, 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 port portraits of animals, you'll see what we call multiple blended backgrounds. All right, how do you do that? In this uh, video, we show you the secret of multiple layered uh, backgrounds. If you'll notice, if you like these. Uh, these paintings, these are all tutorials on our Art Academy in, at gingercooklive.gallery that you're more than welcome to come visit and try. We have over 365 paintings that are just uh, for, uh, on acrylics, and we add new ones every week. So it's a, it's a wonderful academy, but I've we did this series of back to basics so that you could not, you could look at this and say, I think I could do it. I understand brush strokes and I understand how to do this kind of blending. This was a Vincent Van Gogh painting. And then notice that he employed this a lot, didn't he? This type of, uh, you know, multi blended background. You see that? This one was done uh, originally by an artist that lived a hundred years before Vincent Van Gogh. And again, this style of blending is key to many still lifes. Here's another example of a blended background, changing brush direction. That's the other thing we talk about is brush direction and the difference it makes. And one of my favorites that we have in the Academy is this one of, it's called Ode to Coffee. And can you see the blended background? It's not that different than what I did here, is it? It almost could be part of the same picture, couldn't it? You see that? So again, being able to do this type of background is key in uh, learning acrylic painting. If you can get these basic things down, your brush strokes, 
you're you know learning how to blend different shapes learning about light source and what side of an object should be lighter and darker and how to discover your light source um, how to do multi-layer bl blending and then finally and oh we have two videos that my uh, friend John Little did he's our executive producer and business you know business uh, uh, partner in our Academy he did two videos that are on one on varnishing your painting how to varnish it correctly because you know the what do you use to varnish it why do you want to varnish it correct correct way to do it and also how to clean your brushes because we we encourage you to get really nice brushes we even give you a link to to a place where you can get you know discounted brushes and the thing of it is is that you've got an investment in those you've got to take care of it so the last video is how to uh, wash and really take care of your brushes so I think this is a great set of instructions we thought this was all in one place that you could learn the techniques that you're going to need to um, to really learn how to paint with acrylics so that when you come over and you see a painting like this um, and you look at all the buildings and the different shading on them you're going to be you're thinking you know I understand about brush strokes I understand about blending maybe this wouldn't be so difficult because we've given you the basics but without the basics all of this becomes hard so we're encouraging you to enjoy this series of um, uh, videos and I hope that you'll just spend a little time every day just pick one out take 15 minutes and learn a new skill thanks